But gut check kind of win. First of all, it seems like every time you're asked a question, is Anderson yeah. Silva involved? Do you think with this fight, you know, one of the great fights of the year uh, against a really good fighter, that maybe you finally put the Anderson Silva you know, thing behind you and you're going to be able to live on you know, being a great fighter yourself and not who you beat in the past? Uh, I don't know about that. Um, and I don't mind having Anderson Silva attached to me as long as, as, long as, it, uh, as, long as it does because, you know, he's the greatest of all time. So the more I'm winning and the more people are talking about me beating him, I have no problem, you know, keeping him in the picture. He deserves it. Seemed like, uh, you know, you were pretty fatigued going down the stretch. I mean, did you have any doubt in the, you know, in the fifth round there that, hey, I'm going to take this thing? And it seemed like a couple times Leoto hurt you with some of those uh, punches and kicks he was throwing. You had a pretty gnarly thing in your rib cage there. Yeah, I don't use the word gnarly, but it was awesome. Or gross. I think he got him in like the. Uh, Sorry. In the, th in the third round, he started yeah, messing up his face. Kid. But uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think uh, he definitely hit me with some good shots. Uh, but I think just my hard work and you know every day and just sparring, just moving forward, no matter what I get hit with, uh, paid off in the fourth and fifth round. And if I could ask Rhonda a question. Uh, Rhonda, where are you going to get your motivation by winning these fights? You know, not only in the first round, now you're winning them under 30 seconds. I mean, it's, uh, how do you get...